Hello, Mrs. Londonio here. I'm about to show you the activity that we're going to do in our small groups. So you're going to need some chalk, a plastic bag, a cup with water, and another cup or a bowl. And I will show you that and then what we're going to do with it. So you, everyone received at least one of these buckets of chalk. You don't need the whole bucket. You just pull out one. Now, I've done this before to test it out to make sure it works. So some of my materials are already used. I put the chalk, one piece of chalk, inside of a plastic bag like this. See? But you can tell my chalk's already crushed. So what I did, I after I put the chalk inside the bag, there's a few different ways you can crush it to make it into powder. I put my chalk in the bag on the floor, and then I stepped on it a lot. You might have to jump on it, step on it, dance on it, until it starts to break apart into smaller pieces. Chalk is very solid. It's hard. It's not bendable. Let me see if I can hear that sound. It's it's really hard. So you might have to jump on it a few times um, and take your time. Have fun. Once it's into a lot of different pieces, then you might want to try something else to make it even smaller pieces like dust. So I did not step on mine for a very, very long time, so I have a lot of big chunks in there. So I'm going to use a rock, a mallet, or a hammer. I'll use my rock this time. You can use anything as long as you ask your grown-up first. If you just do it gently, it starts to break up the bigger pieces into smaller pieces. Make sure you ask your grown-up first where you can do this. They might want you to do it on the floor so you don't break a table. you got to be safe and gentle. You don't have to use your whole muscle strength. Just gentle. And you can have people in your family help you, too, until you get it down to be even smaller, dustier pieces. Once you're done with that, you can use a spoon to scoop out the pieces and put them in a clean, empty jar. Or you can try to pour them. I had trouble pouring mine, so I ended up cutting a hole in my bag and then using that to pour it in. But you could use a spoon, however, or you can have your grown-up help you. After you pour the chalk in there, you can use your water and your pipette and keep adding it until you see it start to change. And then you can use a popsicle stick or a spoon to stir it up and see how it keeps changing. It no longer is a really hard piece of solid chalk. Now it's starting to look like paint. And you can get your piece of paper and test it out. So you might want to stop and test it when there's not too much water and see how it looks and then put a little more water and see how it looks until you get it just right how you want to paint with it. And that's how we make chalk paint. We'll do this together on our virtual group. So I'll see you then. Bye.